Good evening. I'm Keith Kate. And I'm Stacy Scheibel. Thank you for joining us. A fake cop is on the wrong side of the law for the 14th time. Last night, Polk County deputies put the cuffs on the man who has all the equipment, but not the title. Holly Bounds joins us now live from Polk County at the sheriff's office. And can't believe he's gotten away with it this much, Holly. <laughs> 14 times. Pretty remarkable. Good evening to you, Stacy. Thomas Hook was not lacking any skill, any confidence in his cop skills last night. He showed up at a scene with lights flashing, ready to assist. He's got the bars on the windows, lights on the hood, and decals and badges everywhere to prove he's who he thinks he is. His car seemed fully equipped to include a cage in the back seat where as if he were going to take someone into custody. But the man who pulled up with lights flashing at a collision Thursday night to assist Polk County deputies got their assistance in hauling him off to the county jail. And he had once again after 13 previous times attempted to present himself as law enforcement and last night was the last time. Thomas Hook has a record for posing as a police officer. He's also a registered sex offender, a mix that doesn't sit well with those hearing what he's been up to. It used to be a time when you can let your daughters go outside and, you know, don't have to be too concerned, but these are not those types of times. Among the police paraphernalia, ID cards with his face beside other titles from preacher to private investigator. A sheriff spokeswoman says he's none of those, but he is a fraud. It's sad, but it doesn't really shock me. And Hook was already wanted in Highlands County for impersonating a law enforcement officer there. It was actually their deputies who headed to Polk and told Polk deputies what Hook was up to. Stacy. Too bad he didn't really go into law enforcement initially and solve all these problems, but Holly, Polk deputies were able to arrest him right there on the spot? Well, not exactly, Stacy. Uh, Hook got away the first time. That's whenever Highland deputies came in and told our Polk deputies what Hook was up to. But Hook came back again a second time to try to assist, making that pursuit quite painless. Wow. All right, Holly Bounds, live in Polk County tonight. <laughs> Thank you.